What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the newest horror sequel that is Brahms The Boy 2. The sequel to The Boy, which came out in 2016. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. The Boy 2 essentially takes place after the first boy. It's a sequel, and we have this new family. Katie Holmes is the mother and a son. They move to this new house, which is supposedly in the woods, the same area where the original house from the first boy was. The son digs up Brahms, you know, that creepy doll that was in the first movie, and essentially brings it into the house and does the exact same things it did in the first one. This follows the trends of horror movie sequels that we didn't even ask for a sequel for. I did watch the first boy in preparation for this sequel, and all I can say is with that first film, it wasn't good at all, but it had some interesting things in there that I thought had potential could work, and that twist at the end of the first movie I didn't see coming, but the whole piece together didn't really work for me. And so I was questioning why out of all the horror movies that did really well, why is this movie getting a sequel? Was Brahms the Boy 2 bad? Was it better than the first one or anything like that? You're probably wondering. The answer is no, it is not better than the first one and it's even worse. What was the point in making a sequel if you're just gonna follow the same beats that the first one touched upon? The only real positive for this movie, and I can also say for the first one, is the set location and cinematography. The way they shoot both of these movies, bringing you into the house and the whole area surrounding it. They do a decent job of the creation of this original Brahms boy doll who we see in the first two movies. And this Brahms boy doll, it is creepy to look at whenever it's just focusing on this doll in one room and you're kind of creeped out. Other than that, guys, Brahms the boy 2 is everything you expect out of a awful horror movie sequel. This movie is garbage. Katie Holmes is the main star of this movie. I've not seen her in anything in a while. Logan Lucky, Batman Begins is Rachel Doss. But regardless, her main character in here is really bland and cliche, kind of similar to Lauren Cohen in the first movie. Her character is really unlikable. She's not nice to her son at all. And the son is having weird mental problems throughout this whole movie and she's being a brat about it. The whole movie is essentially a fantasy slash a bedtime story. You're told many things about Brahms, this doll. And of course, events from the first movie. If you've seen the first movie, then you know the events that are explained in this film. And it heavily is copy and paste and stuff from the first movie and not doing anything new. Can I also just say how boring this movie is? Like, being an hour and 26 minutes, it's a short runtime. This felt like two hours long because this whole movie is awfully paced. Long dialogue conversations that go on forever. And I was checking my phone, my watch the whole entire movie and wasn't really interested at all what was going on. And the ending of this movie, oh my God. It tries to do something clever once again, but then it just goes down in the trash. Doesn't work at all, you didn't convince me at all. Before we give you guys my final overall thoughts on Brahms the Boy 2, if this is your guys first time checking out one of my videos and you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this film, please hit that like button, it helps with the algorithm in my channel, and click that subscribe button because I do tons of new release movie reviews, ranking videos, do lots of those, reactions, all movie content guys, I do this on a consistent weekly basis. Brahms the Boy 2, it's awful. What else did you expect me to say? This is a February horror release. There's not been a good horror movie at all this year. My goodness, it better pick up with A Quiet Place Part 2. Ugh. Brahms the Boy 2, and after.
There you go, guys. That was my quick thoughts on Brahms the Boy 2. This movie really made me upset and didn't make me want to talk about it anymore. Uh, did you guys see this movie? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But if you did see it, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you disagree with me and absolutely love it? Did you think it was okay or did you hate it? Thank you guys as always for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!